you, you made it home. I saw, saw Shaq Smith's family said there's no place like home. Yeah. They had a bunch of t-shirts. How many people, how many of your people came out to watch it? <laughs> oh, uh, it was a few. It was a few people uh, out there. It's great to see my family and friends and uh, hopefully to uh, see them every, each and every week. Is there any place like home for you? No place like home. I appreciate you. So what was the philosophy today on defense for you guys to do such a great job? Uh, just tackling, uh, making sure that we, you know, we kept the quarterback in the, in the pocket. Uh, we knew that he was a fast guy and athletic, and uh, he was going to try to make plays with his feet um, and bring bring the pressure. And this team hasn't had, you know, a shutout since 2013. What's it mean to be, a, you know, a part of that and you know have such a dominant victory? As a defender, that means a lot. That means a lot to see, you know, the defense come out there and not miss, you know, not miss tackles and make a lot of plays. So definitely meant a lot. You guys seem to really swarm to the ball. I mean, is that something you guys have been working on this year? The defense just looked a lot more active today than recent teams. Absolutely. Uh, we, we definitely stress, you know, bringing the pressure and uh, running to the ball. We just start, starts that practice. Keandre, what's it mean that when the starters were pulled that the defense did not let up? Backups went in and there was no problem on I think like what you said, uh, you know, the, the starters, you know, we contribute to, you know, starting off the right way. And we want, the, you know, the second team guys to get the same – Come out with the same energy and same uh, amount of intensity. So I think they did a great job. Jumped in late, key to containing Newton, preseason MIAC player of the year. You guys handcuffed him. Like I said, uh, it starts in practice. It starts in with the scout look. Uh, great job from our scout team and uh, just the players that you know wanted to come out here and uh, you know make a statement. So this is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. I would refer Jack Litch Law Group to anyone that I know because of their professional touch and they get the job done. They get it done timely and they do it right. As you just saw, our clients have trusted us. We need to reward that trust and we have with great results and great service. So call the big dogs right now, don't wait. Find us online at bigdogssmallfirm.com. How much did you guys, you know, you guys really limited them on third down. They were really only able to convert one on the day. What did you guys do in practice to focus, you know, on executing that? Like I said, uh, just I think uh, like what our defense is bringing a lot of pressure. Uh, you know, making sure we can stand in doing our assignments, uh, keying in on the ball and uh, our man. So, uh, yep. Yeah. There's a lot of speed out there defensively, no hesitation whatsoever. You mentioned practice, but when you're out there and you feel it in the zone, is this all 11 players just – do you get that sense, just go for the ball, everything else will fall into place? Absolutely. It starts the pregame, you know, just bringing that energy into the locker room. And then uh, when you're warming up and then, you know, once the ball kicks off, you know, you got to bring it. So with everything, with everything that's happened to Maryland year two, but to get this performance, is it refreshing to have this for the fans, this school to move on and get into, you know, an exciting period for Maryland football? It means a lot. We're taking it one game at a time. Uh, Coach talked about the grad transfers and, and how key they were, to, you know, and how important they've been to this team. But what do you see out there from you guys as a group to, you know, you and you and Jack? And, I see a lot of leaders. I see a, I see a lot of leaders on this team, not just on you know on the grad transfers, on the seniors. Uh, it's just a lot of uh, underclassmen stepping up and making plays and contributing to this team, and uh, that's what it takes to win a, you know win every game. They crossed midfield just once. They ran one play on your side of the ball, and it was a play that they lost to fumble on. I mean, not just to shut up, but you know, as somebody who competes, how cool was it to not just not to shut up, but just play the way you guys did from tip to buzzer? I think, like you said, uh, we're competitors. We like to compete, and uh, every play is uh, important down, whether it's first or it's third. Uh, we know every play counts and matters. Playing for Thank the you. defense, it's your job to quote unquote defend this house. What does it mean, though, when you see the student section kind of empty out a little bit or the uh, paid section be a little bit empty? Like, what's your message to get fans to come in and watch you guys play this season? Well, my role as a, as a defender and as a college football player is, you know, go out there and do my assignment, do my job. So uh, as long as we keep winning and, uh, you know, bringing the fans in, keeping them encouraged, and uh, like I said, just doing my job. How good do it feel to get that sack? I felt amazing. Uh, it just felt amazing being back home in front of friends and family. And uh, like I said, seeing our underclassmen contribute to the game and help out because that's what we're going to need in the long stretch. So. 
having that type of local connection you know, with the team, with the area, and also Loxley having that same connection, how does that affect you guys and the other local players that you know have the coach come, come from the same perspective and having that same motivation? Uh, like you said, it's motivation. It's motivation for us to come out there and handle the business the right way and um, you know just continue to do it every, each and every week. How do you personally um, plan to improve your game next week versus Syracuse? It starts in practice, uh, taking every every opponent series, just like how we took Howard series. Uh, next opponent, we're going to take this just that series. So, yep, that's where it starts in practice. Thanks, Thank you.